Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us today. Emily's in the house, how are you, dear? Doing great, thanks. Good, did you watch our show yesterday? Yes, you guys had so much fun. So much fun, and do you have a favorite? Do you like Rising Star, Tangled Star? Do you have a favorite? Honestly, that's a really tough call because they're both so unique and so fun. I I think I'd have to probably say Tangled Stars. Yeah. Just I'm a little bit partial to it, but it's it's a toss up to me. It is. Honestly. It's beautiful. They're both gorgeous. Super fun. All right, where is everyone watching from today? Oh, Char says she finally gets to watch us live on Facebook. Thanks for watching, Char. Uh, Jeannie from Pennsylvania. Sheila from Iowa, which is just down the street. And Pat says happy Wednesday to you as well. All right, quilters, here are a few new projects featured in today's intro video. First up is this beautiful piece by Erica Nicole Creates. And look how pretty that is. Do you not love the colors on this, Emily? I really do, yeah. It almost gives it like a 3D look. Mm -hmm. So cool. It does. And winter blues and whites, mm -hmm. so pretty. Good job, Erica. Next is Kim P with this super fun checkerboard and floral quilt. So Kim, this is actually one of the very first quilt patterns I ever made here at AccuQuilts. Um, I made it for my great niece about nine years ago. Emily, do you know what kind of flower she used? Not the flower power dye. Flower power, funky flowers. Funky flowers, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Look how fun that is. And finally, we have some great placemats courtesy of Wendy W. Look, Pam's oh, pickup truck. Oh, yes. Right there. <laughs> Flamingos and dinosaurs. I have not seen dinosaurs in a while. Good for you to have dinosaurs. Absolutely. Quilters, if you have some fun projects that you would like to share, send them to uh, pictures and you can post them on our social media accounts. Okay, we're talking about oven mitts today and every time I think about oven mitts, I think about this. This is the photo of the day. Uh, these are chocolate chip cookies. So the question of the day is, what is your favorite cookie? Now listen, I'm a total slacker because at our house, we have chocolate chip cookie dough in our fridge every single day and no one, I did not bring any for the studio. So next week I'm gonna have to bring cookies. Emily, do you have a favorite cookie? I think mine's gonna have to be oatmeal butterscotch. Oatmeal butterscotch, we were talking about that. So I good. love, what are they called? Cowboy cookies that have um, oatmeal and pecans and chocolate chips and butterscotch. Oh, yeah. yep, Brox's so oatmeal raisin, all sorts of good stuff. So in the comment section today, we wanna hear what is your favorite cookie? All right, we have this great promo for you today because it's Wednesday. So you can take an extra 10% off your order and then you will have 37% off. You need to use the code COZY10, C-O-Z-Y-10. Now, Emily, what happens if they have an order over $350? Over $350, you're gonna get a free Go Me. A free Go Me, and remember quilters, our Go Me's fit 70% of all of our Go Dyes. Mm -hmm. So a free mo Go Me, and today we have $5 flat shipping, but if you spend over $100, it's free shipping, mm -hmm. no code required, all right? All right, quilters, have you gotten your new carpenter's wheel die? It is our November, I had to think about what month it is. November die to try. It makes this stunning 18 inch block, which we made last week on our AQ Live. Mm -hmm. Listen, we have limited stock of this. We are gonna sell out long before the month is over. So if you haven't gotten your carpenter's wheel die, make sure you pick one up today. Um, throw it in your cart. Absolutely. And yesterday we launched not one, but two new dies, the Rising Star and Tangled Star dies. These are pre-orders, but these two dies will ship in November. Plenty of time for you to make some really fun holiday projects and winter projects. Um, the, it comes in a bundle. It's called Shooting Stars. It's $179.99. It comes with both of those two new dies and a six by 24 cutting mat. And quilters, if you wanna go me, you can use both of those dies in the Go Me. And if you own a Go Big, you can run both of those dies together in one pass. You can cut two quilts at one time. Who knew? I did. <laughs> All right, today I'm giving away one of our Go Oven Mint dies. And speaking of oven mint dies, we also have limited stock of those today. People have been making oven mitts for days, and we are probably gonna sell out of this die today. So today is the day to make sure you get your oven mitt die. Be sure and share this video on your personal Facebook page for the chance to win. Emily's gonna announce the winner at the end of our show. 
okay? And normally we have Morgan off-site, but Morgan is in the house today. We had a big um, company meeting yesterday, so lots of our team, well, all of our team that live out of state flew in, and we had a great time. All right, oh, we have a die. Oh, here, let's show these real quick. Tangled Star, these are the new um, dice we launched yesterday, and Rising Star, look at how pretty this is. Now, the number one question we had yesterday was, can you make the Rising Star with a cube? And the answer is you cannot make this 10 inch finished bob or block on board um, uh, block without, you can only make it with the Rising Star die, okay? Because it requires basically flying geese, but um, this is the only one that will make a 10 inch finished block. Okay, so that was the question everybody asked. Isn't it pretty? It's Lynn Gibney's favorite of all, like of all quilt blocks, that's her favorite. Love that. All right, so let's look at this die. All right. So this is our oven mitt die. It comes on a 10 by 24 die board and it's what we call a project die, right? So you can make oven mitts for days. Since it's on a 10 by 24 die board, it can fit through our Go, our Go Big, and our Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter, and make sure you have a 10 by 24 cutting mat, okay? Normally, we can cut six layers of cotton with our dies, but today I'm gonna cut a variety of fabrics to help you kind of think outside the box um, when you use this die. So the coolest thing, Erica is also in the house. Um, right here, this is Erica's best feature. You can't see it, but right there, there is a little blade to have the slit so the oven mitt, the thumb will move on it. Look at that. Talkie talkie, there we go. <laughs> All right, now I think oven mitts should come in pairs, so I thought it'd be really fun to look at things that go together. So I have some denim fabric and bandanas. Right, isn't that super cute? cute? <laughs> okay, and I want them to have one side be bandanas and the other side to be denim. So my middles are gonna just be bandanas, okay? Don't forget to join Eric and I. We have a special show this Friday, November 19th at 12 noon central time. It's called Ooh. Happy Holidays Extravaganza. We're gonna help you get in the holiday spirit with some holiday themed dyes and fun projects. Erica's made super fun things, okay? Now, the most important thing to remember, and I'm gonna show you how to do this in just a second, is that when you're cutting your oven mitts, you wanna pre-quilt your fabric before you cut, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that, all right? And, hold on here, oh, look at this one. This is super fun fabric. Oh Before I talk about the sandwich, all right? I, I, before we sew it, I wanna talk about the sandwich, okay? So again, I've been making oven mitts for days. So here's cotton, here's Insulbrite. We sell it on our website, okay? And then here is just cotton fabric, all right? So these, this makes the sandwich. So I have a denim sandwich, which has denim, Insulbrite, and bandana, okay? And then I have another one that has just bandanas, Insulbrite, and bandanas, all right? The batting is available on our website, so throw some in your cart today. Now my sandwich here measures 10 inches wide by 18 inches long. And I purposely did that because I'm gonna show you how to cut out the um, oven mitt today. And then there's enough down here you can make a mug rug. Who knew, okay? Now, some viewers have asked if the Insulbrite batting has a top and a bottom. So I'm gonna pull it off here. Justin, we're just gonna show them, okay? Ooh, there's a pin in there. Erica would be proud. Okay, so here's the Insulbrite. It, See, there's kind of a shiny side and a duller side. The answer is no, okay? It doesn't have a top and a bottom. Pam, Bar oh, sorry. Pam, Barbara's uh, curious to ask if you're using regular or canvas cotton with this. I'm using regular cotton. Perfect. That is a great question. And I know the next question some of you are gonna ask is, some people have put an extra layer of batting 
in their sandwich before they quilted it? And the answer is you go. You go girl, you go guy. <laughs> if you wanna add an extra layer, you can. We tested our oven mitts. I took a tray of cookies out of the oven and it was just fine. Okay, if you wanna add extra batting to it, you can. Some people have asked, hey, can I line my oven mitts? And the answer is, of course you can. And our um, team who's watching our comments, they have a little video they can refer you to on how to line your oven mitts. But today I'm just gonna do the question, or I'm gonna show you how the pattern on the AccuQuilt website makes oven mitts, okay? Love so it. before we get started, what kind of people are cookies? Yeah. Um, Eleven. Robin loves chocolate. Uh, Thelma loves oatmeal chocolate chip. There we go. Um, Amanda um, from Omaha says that she loves spritz cookies. Oh, yeah, that comes like at Christmas time. I've never heard of those yeah, before. Yeah, it comes you, you press them out in a little thing. Oh, fun. Yeah, they're sugar. They're butter and sugar. They're the best. Love that. Yeah, a little flour just to hold it all together. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so quilters, everyone asks, why is AccuQuilt uh, fabric cutter better than a rotary cutter? To cut your oven mitt without a die, you would need a paper template. And not only eventually it would not be accurate, but it would also be time consuming as well, mm -hmm. okay? So we have a die, we're gonna cut them. And I know that people have cut oven mitts and sewn them together in just, you know, 10, 15 minutes, all right? Before we get cutting, don't forget our promo today. Take an extra 10% off your order. 37% mm -hmm. off. Uh, you're going to use the code COZY10. So, Emily, give us some ideas of some dyes that we want to get using that um, extra 37 or extra 10% off. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, say you're going into the holidays, maybe you're making some gnome projects. Right. Um, that guy is going to be on sale. It's usually $39.99 um, with that extra, the Cozy 10 discount on top of the other already discounted item. Um, it's going to be $25.20. Perfect. Also have the snowflake, of course. Right. Um, that one is twenty-two oh five with our total Perfect. discounts. So yeah, we're we're getting some really great deals today. Good deals. All right. And remember, may your order of three hundred and fifty or more, you're going to get a free go me. And uh, orders over hundred dollars are going to ship free. Don't forget, I'm going to give one away uh, our oven mitt dies away today. Be sure to share your video, um, this video, and your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, because this is the question people ask me all the time. They're like, how do I quilt my fabric? It is not hard, okay? So I have bandana and insel bright and bandana, and I've just started sewing. I'm just gonna make straight lines down, okay? So I pinned it a little bit. I'm gonna tell you it was easiest for me to start in the center and work my way out so then it didn't bunch. I also used our machine here, and I have my walking foot engaged, okay? Hold on, I need a pink cushion. Oh. All right, so while I'm gonna show you, so I'm just gonna start here at this next line, and I'm just gonna stitch right here and stitch all the way down. You'll see, it's super fast. All right, so while I'm stitching, Emily, tell yeah. us, what are people's favorite cookies? Absolutely. Um, Paula agrees with me, butterscotch oatmeal. Paula, you're my girl. See? <laughs> um, Wanda says oatmeal with raisins, cranberries, and nuts. Okay. Um, KJ says chocolate pixies. I don't think oh, I've heard yeah, of those Oh yeah, chocolate ones. pixies are like little sugar cookies with chocolate in them. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Absolutely. Oh, Judy's favorite are grasshoppers. They're what? Grasshopper cookies. I've never in my life heard of grasshopper cookies. I have heard of them, but I can't remember all the ingredients. Maybe they're it's... like a mint, right? Think, chocolate mint. I think that's, I think that's does, right. Does a grasshopper drink have chocolate mint? It does. Yes, it does. I think that that's okay. right. Brenda loves thin mints. Oh, okay. Listen, Girl Scout cookie Classic. thin mints are the bomb. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Is that your all-time favorite Girl Scout cookie too, you think? Yeah. Yeah, so good. Yeah. Um, Joan, I love shortbread cookies. Oh my gosh, me too. Yes, those are so good, Just especially with like a hot cup of tea on a cold day. Right. So okay. good. Notice quilters, I am just stitching. I'm kind of eyeballing it, okay? You could measure it. You could put a ruler here and measure it, or you could just eyeball it. Oh, it always is catching back here. Hold on. Okay. All right. Tell us some other things that yeah. people are loving cookies. Yes. Um, 
So, oh, this is fun. So actually, Lu Luann says um, that she went to visit her granddaughter and bought her uh, and brought the go me. She loved it and made gingerbread girls, mittens, reindeers, and snowflakes. Gingerbread oh, how cookies. fun is that? So that's fun. So to go along with their cookie making, yes. they made some gingerbread cookie with their dyes. That's cool. Um, um, little molasses crinkles are Miss Erica's, one of her favorite cookies. Oh, those I are I love good. those as well. Oakley loves gingerbread cookies. She loves to cut them out and um, put the little cinnamon buttons on them yeah. and frost them, which is hilarious. I think all kids should frost cookies. That's one of my favorite things to watch. Okay, so see how I'm doing this? I have like maybe one, maybe two more of these that I'm just gonna do. Love that. I know, it's really fast. Gosh, that really is so easy. I know, and the great thing is, what I did, Quilters, when I was making my oven mitts, um, I just did it all. Like if you're gonna make, Somebody I saw on social media the other day, somebody made 50 oven mitts. What? And I would just tell you to just sit and pre-quilt your fabric. Wow. And then sew your oven mitts together. Okay? That's awesome. Look at that. Okay? Ta-da. Love. All right, now, to cut my shapes, it's really important to lay one of the sandwiches facing down, so I'm gonna have my denim down, and I'm gonna have my bandana up. Because then on one side it's gonna be denim, and on one side it's gonna be bandanas, and then the center is gonna have bandana fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I am only gonna cut one sandwich at a time. Do you know why, Emily, we're only gonna cut one? Because um, it, it'll be too thick, it'll count for that six layers of oh, yeah. fabric. Yeah. And actually, um, Albert uh, wanted to clarify too, it, you know, whether adding an extra layer in the go big would be okay if it's already sandwiched. It is. It is. It is. Okay. So I want you to see this. So I purposely made my um, fabric. I cut it a little bit long. So see how much fabric is going to be left over. So you could totally cut yourself a little mug rug. You could make a rectangle one or a square or a circle. I feel like once it's since it's already quilted. Mm -hmm. You should totally be making mug rugs. I love that. And and Shara's wondering too, Pam, yes. if she runs out of insole bright, can you use regular cotton quilt batting? Um, so I'm gonna tell you no, because the insole bright creates that little barrier of heat from right. the heat. Right. Kind of protects right? you when you're when you're making picking those things out, out of the oven that you really don't wanna <laughs> wanna feel right. through those gloves. Right. <laughs> those mitts. And I only use my oven mitts like at the oven. I'm never going to use them when I'm grilling. Okay, and I don't grill Ray grills, but um, you know, we have some really heavy duty ones that we're going to grill with. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look how easy this is. And I'm using my Go Big. Our Go Big is on sale today, yes? Um, is part of our sale? Go Big, yes. Let me verify that pricing okay. really quick here. Um, that one is on sale. Yes, it's usually the Go Big starter set is usually six ninety nine ninety nine. Yes. Um, today it's four eighty nine ninety nine. Oh my gosh! Get and, you one. Ship yes. It free. And remember, quilters. Um, once a lot of our products are gone, they are gone for the rest of the year mm -hmm. because we're just not able to get product in after the end. Okay, yeah. so see how these little strings came off? But now look, I have a nice big piece. Oh, here, I'll put it down. I have a nice big piece that I could cut a big circle out of or I could make a mug, you know, a rectangle Absolutely. and just make a little mug rug. Mm -hmm. So maybe while you're giving oven mitts, you could give mug rugs as well. Absolutely. Well, and, and you know, if they are happen, happening to look at the Go Big um, with, you know, the dies that are just being released, we also have a bundle with the Go Big that's called the 10 inch Seeing Stars Starter Pack. Oh my gosh, um, with that the guy's, two new dies? Yeah, it's on sale for seventy seven forty nine ninety nine. Okay. You're gonna get the Go Big Electric, okay. the Tangled Star, the Rising Star, the setting triangles 10 inch to oh, go which along is with so those, cool. which is so fabulous that just opens up your possibilities so much. And then the cutting mats to go along with that. So that's oh, a great bundle. That's perfect. And if you live in the contiguous US, we're gonna ship it to you free. We sure will. Now don't forget quilters, all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. So if you need to go back and watch this one or any of our others, you can. Mm -hmm. Cause sometimes you're busy watching on a Wednesday and you think, what? What did Pam say? Now, Pam, while you were doing that, 
you you slide over the uh, cutting mat yeah. instead of lifting it up. Why is that you do, do that? Um, I'm going to show you why. So if I run it through the cutter and I just lift it up, the pieces have a tendency to stick to that mat. Mm -hmm. So I give it a little bit of love, and then I slide that mat, don't lift. Perfect. Okay. All right, so here's my two here. Oh, I have so many oven mitts. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put right sides together. Okay, because see my denim? Mm -hmm. And then my other little one. Okay. I'm going to move this that. here. And, okay, remember Erica talked to, or I told you Erica's favorite feature is this little um, slit. That's so, we had an oven mitt contest. We'll talk about it here. Okay, so that this doesn't just stick right next to it. It actually can move a little bit. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. All right, at our house, we call those whales. Oven mitts <laughs> are whales. Okay. All right, here we go. So now to help remind me that that slit is here, I'm just gonna put a little pin in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, just right here. So when I'm stitching around it, and I'm just gonna use just a quarter inch seam and stitch around, okay? I'm gonna make sure that I come all the way down and then come this way. Otherwise, my oven mitt isn't gonna have its opposable thumb, gotcha. okay? All right, so we want to do that. All right, Emily, why sew this? You want to talk about our blog? Absolutely, yeah. We have a fantastic blog, um, which has a great way to get in touch with our go-getters, um, engage with them, ask any questions. It also has access to, uh, gives you access to exclusive patterns, which are only available on that blog. So it's a great place to check out for tips, tricks, and uh, you know, special. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. We have at least two blogs yeah. every week. Yes, very, very fun. cool. So so I think the blog yesterday was all about our new dyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and don't forget, Quilters, this oven mitt, um, we have very limited stock. Yeah, yeah. So if you're wanting to get an oven mitt, today is your day. Absolutely, and, and Pam, actually, while you're doing that with the oven mitt, uh, Christina's curious if she can make the Santa stocking the same way with uh, quilting the fabric first before cutting it oh, out. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. I was going to say, we have a Santa stocking oven mitt pattern. He's really cute. He looks like Santa. Do we really? Yeah, it's, I think it's hanging right behind you. We'll show it to him in just a minute. Oh, fun. Okay. So right here's my pin. All right. I'm going to make sure I go past my pin. Okay. And then I'm going to leave my needle down and I'm going to turn so that that notch is there. Okay. Okay. Make sure I get all my pieces in here. So I'm just starting from one side to the other. Okay. Um, <laughs> when we were testing this die, um, you know, we had to test all the pieces and stuff. And so I would just do one layer, right? You know, yeah. I do, you know, one sandwich basically. Right. And what I found at home the other day was I have all these like half of oven mitt because they weren't ever sewn together. Oh no. So I'm gonna, maybe over the weekend this weekend, I'm gonna sit and match up oven mitts. Absolutely, well and, and speaking of oven mitts, we still have stock of the Warm Hands, Warm Hearts dye bundle, which- Oh, excellent. Yeah, that, that's two thirteen ninety five, but it's gonna come with um, both the oven mitt, the mitten, the cutting mats, and the Insulbrite, which is really nice. Which is great. Which is really, really great, yeah. Okay, so here's my oven mitt. And it's all sewn together. And so now I'm going to turn it inside out. All right. Takes it a minute. This is where the magic happens, though. This is where the magic happens. I know. It's like, <laughs> did I get all the seams sewn? Did I get the things, the thumb? You can pull it out. I'm sure our viewers have some great tips on how to get it. Um, at home, I use a little um, chopstick to get the thumb out. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I know it's like wrangling with a toddler here. Right. Just gotta get the right tools here. 
Okay. All right. So tell us what cookies people are eating while I get my oven mitt Absolutely. open here. Absolutely. Um, ooh, like Christina says layer cookie bars with Okay. Chips. Seven layer bars are to die for. Yes. I can eat those every single day. Yeah. She makes them with the chips and the sweet and condensed yep. milk. That sounds amazing. Yes. Um, Amelia's aunt used to make cowboy cookies, which oh. was, you know, proud of each ingredient used to be made yeah. with seven or eight things. And she used them with, uh, made them without a mixer other than her wood spoon. Oh my gosh. Good she wins. Real. Oh my gosh. She wins. Absolutely. Ooh, sour cream cookies. <laughs> What? I don't know why. I don't know why we talk about food all the time. It's just how I always pick, choose the question. I know we leave this every day, going, "Okay, it's lunchtime." <laughs> no, we should always stop. Okay, so here's my oven mitt. Ta-da! Okay, so we're gonna put a binding on it. All right. So here's one side. Here's the other. If you're left-handed, okay, they're they're ambidextrous oven mitts. <laughs> Okay, and I tell you, when I do it, after I do it, I just take a really good iron and give it a press right here mm -hmm. where that little slot is, or Erica's slit. Yeah. Okay, so let's cut some of that, but I wanna show you. So here's one the lovely Erica made. Hold on. Okay, so Erica has way more patience than I do. So here's a two and a half inch strip, all right, which she um, cut. And then she stitched it on the outside. Let me show you. Like this, okay? And she added a loop. And then she was gonna pull it on the inside and uh, I don't know why, but she does. Um, she hand stitches this down. Wow. Okay, so when it finishes, it has this beautiful edge. Here's my ugly oven mitt. I stitched it on the inside, pulled it to the outside, and used it on my sewing machine, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Okay, so lots of ways to finish your oven mitts. All right? Absolutely. But I am gonna show you how to cut a two and a half inch strip, and um, I'm gonna show you how you have the loop. All right. Okay? So here is our two and a half inch strip die. Emily, do you know how many sizes of strip dies we have? Um, at least in the, oh gosh, I think it's uh, 16. 18. 18. You just added two. Yeah, 18 oh, inches great. or 18 sizes of strip dies starting from one inch to six and a half inches. Six and a half, okay? yeah. So I'm sure some of these are included in our little um, promo today. Yep. Absolutely. So this is the two and a half inch strip die. Let's talk about it, okay? It only has four blades. One, two, three, four. No blades down here and no blade down here. Now, typically when we lay fabric on a die, we have the label to our belly and the lengthwise grain, mm -hmm. but strip dies are the exception to that, okay? So what I've done is I've just cut a width of fabric, okay? So here's the salvage edge, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it over my blades here, Joe. I'll Stop moving it the way I'm not supposed to move it. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the fold with this bl um, black line. That black line tells me, hey, Pam, that's where the blades stop. So if I try to line up my fabric at the edge of the die board, it's gonna stop cutting here and here and here. All right, and you're gonna be cranky about that. So you wanna make sure that you move it over, okay? Now, if I was cutting all my layers, two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half is seven and a half inches, mm -hmm. I'd add a quarter of an inch on either side and rough cut eight inches width of fabric. If you do six layers, you'll have enough binding for a queen size quilt and just one pass through the cutter, okay? But I just need a couple of strips. So I have my fabric here. So Emily, while I cut this, do we have questions from our viewers? We actually are just about to say, Pam, we've got a lot of questions. Okay, let's ask questions up. while I'm doing this. Absolutely. So um, first of all, when you quilted the sandwich together, was that cotton thread you were using? Yes. Perfect. Um, is there a reason you don't center the die when running through the go? 
the go big. Oh, the go big? Yeah. Um, no, if I put it to one side, then Justin can get a bigger camera angle on it. <laughs> there you go. It's all about how it looks on the video screen. I love it. So, yeah, you can put it wherever you want. You can put it over here. You can put it in the center. You can put it wherever you want. Awesome. Okay. Um, Kathy's wondering if the oven mitt, is it is it uh, a standard size of oven mitt, do you think? Sure, I'm going to go with that. I think it is. I would say I'm so. Go it's with pretty that. standard from what I've seen in oven mitt sizes. Right. Um, it fits my hand. It fits my husband's hand. Yep, fits my hand great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, can, could could you possibly use terry cloth on the um, side? I feel like you could use any, not any. I feel like if you use a cotton fabric, so you could use denim, you could use terry cloth, you could use cotton. I would not use like minky or flannel because yeah. I feel like minky might shed yeah. everywhere. And flannel, I just feel like it might flake away. Kind of like static or something. Yeah. Kind of build yeah. up and yeah, it might be. So I would just kind of stay in the cotton realm. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Now, um, now that I've cut my two and a half inch strip, Erica says to cut, she knows all things, five inches of fabric for the loop off my strip. So. I have a little rotary cutter in my ruler. Okay, keep going. Do I have quite more questions? Absolutely. Okay. Um, Judy is wondering um, hey, Judy. If, if it would be easier to put the trim, and I'm it, I'm not sure if this is the right word, on the cull before you sew them together. Is that, basically, it would it be easier to put the trim on before you sew? Oh, I see what you're saying. When I sewed them together now, yeah. I feel like it's easier to oh, add cuff. that binding. I think it was cuff. After. I bet it was cuff that it was, that was probably yes. was. Oh yeah, cuff, autocorrect. I sent Erica a text the other day and I was talking about Y seams and it came through as Wi-Fi seams. I was like, sweet, good old autocorrect. So let me show you real quick how to press the loop and then I'm gonna press my um, rest of my strip. Okay, so I took my five inches. I don't know why it's five inches, Erica told me so. Okay, I just trust Erica. Okay. And you are using an, a quarter inch seam allowance on everything, correct? Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Yep. Jan, okay. Jana wanted to know. So then I'm <laughs> going to come here. Hey, we should sell these little shovel irons and um, wool pressing mats on our website, Quilters. We sure do. Get up one. It's not part of the sale, but boy, does it make life easy. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm just pressed it in half and now I'm pressing them to the center. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold it in half. And Erica, of course, did two stitches. So I'm gonna stitch down here to stop it or to close it. And then I'm gonna do another little decorative stitch here. Okay, so while I'm doing my decorative stitch, see right here's my loop. Okay, um, tell us, do we have more questions, Emily? I'm sure we have a million. Absolutely, and I double checked too, and actually the Clover Mini Iron, it's usually $31.95, but it's $27.16. So it okay, might, might not be part of the Cozy 10, but it's discounted, so that's There great. you go, it's get you a Clover <laughs> Iron. It will fit perfectly in your Christmas stocking. Absolutely, oh, that would be so sweet. Maybe you could make a mitten and like put it in there. Oh, or an oven mitt and put it, it in there. That's a great idea. it on the tree, idea. ready to go. <laughs> I'm down for that. I love that. Oh, Kay says that she, when she was making hers, she got a pucker at the thumb. How does she keep that from happening? Yeah, so Kay, what I think is you need to go a little bit past that. You know, remember when I put the pin in here? You know, I just went past it to make sure I didn't have that pucker. Because I think I had that same problem. But then I went past it and it's good. Love that. Okay? We have so many oven mitts. Okay, so here's my loop, all right? And the lovely Erica says it goes on the outside of my oven mitt, so it can hang, okay? So I'm gonna pin it, and then I'm gonna press this in half so I can show you how to do binding. And Barbara's wondering, are you using a bias strip for the top? No, just a regular good old two and a half inch strip. Love it. Okay, all right, what other questions do we have? Yeah, um, let's see, do you sew the oven mitt any differently than, than normal um, around the thumb? Well, I guess, I think we just covered yeah, that. Yeah, we just went a little bit farther. Um, yep. 
Let's see, can you use muslin in the lining? Uh, muslin, yeah, you could, absolutely. Okay. And again, we have some videos. Um, there's some links in the comment section on the videos on how to line your oven mitt. Mm -hmm. Some of you are so fancy <laughs> and you want to line your oven mitts. So go for it, oh. you totally should. It's like lining our Christmas stocking. Right. Basically, you're gonna just um, create a shell and put it, you know, wrong sides together and turn it inside right it'll be it's awesome yeah okay? and so I cut two of these because um, if you wanted to cut your mug rug out of whatever's left you can use that two and a half inch strip binding for that as well okay okay all right so here we go this is one of those moments you need your big iron but for this little section right here absolutely okay Ooh, we've got some more answers too for favorite cookies. Okay, one second here and I'm gonna show you how I start mine. So I started my binding, Erica started hers different. Okay. Um, but I started my binding just like I start binding on a quilt. Oh. So I am gonna fold down this little corner because you don't wanna have a raw edge. Right. Okay. And now what I do is when I come back with my other side here, um, I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna tuck it under just like this. And then see, I don't have a raw edge. Oh wow. And I'm stitch. I'll show you, it's super fast. Okay, now I am going to, oh, I have to think about this because I have a loop on it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to try not to just poke myself, I just did with my pin. And I'm going to start on the inside. Hold on. Oh, see, look at me. This is why we practice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take this off for a second because now four times I have poked my little self. All right, so what you want to do is you want to take your binding. There we go. Hang on, hang on. Just want to make sure I'm doing it the right. Here we go. There we go. So we're gonna take our binding and we're gonna stitch it to the inside and then when I fold it over and fold it over this way, then you won't see where I started and stopped my piece, okay? So I'm gonna start it here. I'm gonna use another pin, all right? And then I'm just gonna come around here Okay, this is so much easier to do at home, just so you know, okay? And I used lots of pins, Eric would be so proud, okay? Well, and you're basically just setting yourself up for, you know, a way easier sewing process. Oh my obviously. gosh, yes, oh my gosh. absolutely. A little, bit, a little bit of extra work right now is gonna <laughs> yes. cause you so much less headache. <laughs> okay, and then when I get to this side, okay, and it's gonna be a little long, it's okay, and we're gonna cut it off in the end. So when we get to this side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin this loop right here, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna finish pinning. Emily's gonna tell us what people like to eat. Absolutely, yes. Um, Barbara loves cherry chocolate chip cookies and peanut butter cookies. Oh, we love peanut butter cookies at our house. I am not a big cherry fan like I don't really like cherry pie I don't really like cherry oh, ice gosh. cream not even cherry cheesecake really I just like fresh cherries oh, that man. my brother sends to me that are just fresh picked and from eastern Washington I cannot get enough of cherries cherry pie is like my is that your go-to oh absolutely yeah anytime we go to p go for pie that is that is the number one choice <laughs> Okay, so see how I'm just doing this? I'm taking a minute. I don't want it to be messed up. I want it to look nice. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so now look. I'm back here. This is an awkward way to have to show you how to quilt here or so. Okay, so I'm back here and I'm back here to the point where I started, right? And it's a little hard to see because I have that different, or they have the same fabric in here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it off mm -hmm. like right here. 
And Pam, actually, Harley has a pretty good question about binding. Okay. Would it be easier to bind each side than sew the sides together? Be easier to, no, because then you don't get a continuous. That's right. It would only be, loop. it would be half and half sewn together and yeah. you would have the seams at the edge. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on my sewing machine. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna try really hard not to poke myself with pins. <laughs> okay, and Emily's gonna tell us what kind of cookies people are loving because I'm loving this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need the recipe. Um, Bonnie says Mexican wedding cookies. Oh, I've had those before. Yeah, those are nice. What are those like? They sound delicious. S sugar and flour and cinnamon. They oh, have all like the cinnamon. Oh, I them. love cinnamon. Yeah. Um, Barb loves uh, raisin and date filled cookies. Oh my gosh. I bet those would be pretty decadent. Okay, so notice I'm just going slow. Okay, because now I'm to the point where that little loop is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna go slow here. All right, make sure I get all of my layers. I'm gonna take that pin out so I don't break it. Okay, and then when I get over this loop, I am gonna back stitch because, you know, loops. Okay. See how it's going? See, it's good things happening here in the Dream Studio. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else are people eating? They are eating, we've got, oh, uh, Susan says, uh, Susan from Florida says that her favorite Christmas cookies are traditional cutouts with glaze. Oh, I Pretty am a good delicious. sugar cookie fan. Me too. I love, do you, do you ever decorate cookies with Oakley during we the do. holiday season? She, all, the, all the seasons we do it. Yeah. I, yeah, my dad is a big, he's a big gingerbread cookie guy. Yes. So every year. I have a die for that, you know. We surely do, and the, and the accessories too. There you <laughs> the go. The decorations. There you go. <laughs> it's probably on sale today. I think it is. Let me check yeah. on that, and I'm sure I could answer that for us. All right. So now I'm just trimming down my little tail because I'm getting ready to tuck it in to where I started. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Yeah, and both of those are part of the sale today. Um, okay. They're already marked down to $24.49 each. And so they would be qualified for an additional 10% off Excellent. of each of those dyes too. Get so. you those. Get Absolutely. You some, get you some gingerbread cookie and accessories dyes. And heck, if you're making the, the Western style uh, oven mitt like Pam's doing, why not the Western medley? That's Right? That's it has sale. the horse on it and the horseshoe. Yep. And, and it has, what else? Boot. The boot. Yeah. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on here. I'm going to take this out and pin it because now I've thought about snakes in my boot. And it's all <laughs> coming apart here. Hold on one sec. Okay, so I'm just going to add this little piece right here and now I'm gonna pin it back down. Um, okay, fun fact about the Western Medley. Mm -hmm. Our good friends um, at V-Stitch created an embroidery design that stitches out a unicorn from oh. the horse. How cute. So if you're looking for a unicorn, yes, there is a die for that and embroidery file for it. It's really fun. Love that. Okay, there we go. All right, this did not take this long at home. Just saying, okay? Ooh, we've got another favorite cookie that sounds so good, Pam. Okay. KJ says, my mom's chocolate pixies are like a better than a brownie rolled in powdered sugar. Yes, pixies are rolled in powdered sugar. They're like Swedish, whatever those are called. Doesn't that sound What are those delicious? called, team? <laughs> Swedish uh. something. No, they have like nuts in them. Oh. Erica should know this. Swedish tea cakes. Okay. Oh. All of all of my See, this is why Erica and I just talk all the time. We're having this discussion here. Okay, so now look. <gasps> now it looks pretty. You can see how pretty it looks. Ta-da. Hey, and if you're going to applique, you want to do it before, okay? Mm -hmm. So, all right, so hold on here. And here we added a loop because everybody wanted to know how to add a loop. Okay, now I'm gonna take off my little thing right here. Oh, I guess I could have done that earlier, huh, Erica? That probably would have worked a little easier. That's okay. 
Okay, keep going, Emily. Why so this last one? Because we are almost done making oven mitts. Quilters. Absolutely. Actually, um, Donna was also wondering if we could use that same insole bright on the bowl cozy. Um, so the answer to that is no, and that's a great question. I'm so glad somebody asked that. Mm -hmm. The bowl cozy, um, you want to use 100% cotton batting and fabric and thread because at our house we put bowl cozies in the microwave. And Inselbright has that metal kind of lining metallic thing to help keep your oven, you know, your hands warm and safe. And so if you put it in the microwave, oh, see what were the chances that my thread would break. Um, if you put it in the microwave, it's going to um, spark. Oh, okay. I'm glad she asked that. Yeah, that's a great question. Definitely. So bowl cozies, um, use just like 100% cotton batting mm -hmm. and oven mitts use Insulbrite. Okay, here we go. We're almost done the here. The difference to know. Ooh, when we were talking about cherries, Barb says she likes to freeze them for a cold summer snack. Yes. I love that. Yes. We also have more cookie. Ooh, gold rush brownies, shortbread cookies. Barbara likes pinwheels. See, we're all just gonna wanna have lunch. Oh, we're all man. just gonna have cookies for lunch yeah, here today. Yeah, let's just go have a bake-off this afternoon. <laughs> bake-off, I love that. Let's just have a bake-off here at AccuQuilt. Yeah, a great AccuQuilt baking show. <laughs> okay, there. I feel like there's some possibility for that, okay? Absolutely. So I'm just going around, and you just wanna take your time in the oven mitt, because you wanna make sure you're top stitching it so it's nice and clean. Absolutely. It's gonna look cute. And then you also made, didn't you make your ugly oven mitt with the crazy quilt die? Yes, we're gonna talk about it in just a second. <laughs> the lovely Erica is here. I love We're gonna that. talk about our ugly oven mitt challenge. <laughs> okay. All right, I have so many threads here. I love it. Oh, and you use, so you use the two and a half inch, two inch finish strip cutter to do your, to do your um, binding there. I did. I did also want to let folks know, so we have two versions of that strip cutter. Right. We've got one that cuts three strips, which will fit in the go and the go big. Right. Um, however, we do also have the uh, one that cuts two. And so that's great. That will fit in the go me for you. In right. Case, you know, in case that's the cutter you have and, you know, it's easier to use. Um, the, the three strip uh, is $63 and the two strip is fifty-six seventy. So you can pick Perfect. either one of those up on sale. Ta-da. Oven mitts. Thank you, Bob. Oh, so many strings. Okay. And a loop. So okay. cute. Now, quilters, if you're looking for some other great ideas for your oven mitt, look at this super cute Santa mitt. It's over here behind Emily. And, or you can change it up with the Go Crazy Quilt die, which is the one right there above her head. There you go. <laughs> Perfect, all right? And this is the ultimate scrap buster, all right? And think ahead, quilters, think about Super Bowl Sunday. Maybe you wanna make oven mitts um, out of football fabric or for your favorite team. Joe likes the Bears, so they're not going to Super Bowl, okay? So we have sports medley dye, mm -hmm. all right? So you could add this to your um, oven mitt. Now, here's my, here's my thing, quilters, all right? If you're going to add appliques like Emily talked about, the gnome, here's the uh, snowflakes, here's our gnome. <laughs> Here is Western Midley, okay? You wanna add it first before you do that quilting, all right? And then do your quilting and then cut it out, all right? And don't forget, all of our applique shapes have free embroidery downloads. So you can use those three stitches, the blanket stitch, the satin stitch, or the motif stitch. Oven mitts can be used as a gift bag for housewarming or welcome to the neighborhood gifts. All right, and be sure and share your finished oven mitts with us on our Facebook page. We would like to see your creative projects. Now, um, last week or maybe two weeks ago, I don't know what day it was, um, Eric and I, Eric, you wanna join me here? The lovely Erica's in the house. I know it's Wednesday. Don't everybody get confused. No. <laughs> We're confused already. Though. Yes. 
Okay, so Erica and I had this ugly oven mitt challenge. Was it just last week? I know. It's Was so it? It seems like so long ago. Last week, and everybody's made so many great oven mitts. They have. So here's was, here was mine. I'm going to show mine first. Here's mine. I used the Crazy Quilt dye that Emily talked about in the sale price, and that's part of our promo today. And I used, it's called the Oven Mitt of All Seasons. So it has like <laughs> Easter fabric and Fourth of July and Christmas fabric and Husker fabric and Yoda fabric, okay? And then I bound it with Halloween fabric, okay? Now, Erica's is a little more ugly. Okay, so the challenge wasn't cute. <laughs> the challenge wasn't clever. Yes. The challenge was ugly. Yes. So here we have the truly ugly rooster Chicken, oven. yeah, rooster. rooster. Rooster and chicken oven mitt for you in honor of those that rooster and chickens that live next door to you. Yeah, chicken Brian. Yeah, and but this was yeah. this is how you knew it was going to work, right? I knew it was going to work when I found the neon fur. Yeah, and the little balls and yeah. sequins for and days. Sequins for days. So here's our big challenge to you. <laughs> so we think you should find a friend, maybe your quilt guild. Um, don't every year, you know, at Christmas yeah. time, you kind of have a little exchange. We think this year for your quilt guild, you should have the ugly oven mitt challenge and exchange. Right. Would that be ugly Christmas sweaters? Yes. Or maybe in addition to yes, ugly oven mitts. Ugly oven mitts. And we want you to share those pictures with us on our social media pages because I think we should judge one. I think so too. I think that would be really fun. We should pick our favorite ugly, our ugliest yes. of the ugly. Yes. All right. So get with your quilt guild or your friends, your sewing friends, and make you some ugly oven mitts because you can do them for today. Good. Okay. So what are we doing Friday? We are talking all about holiday dyes. Holiday dyes. Holiday dyes. We've got so many fun ideas. You don't want to miss it. Erica has been crafting so cleverly. 12 noon central time for our holiday, um, holiday dyes extravaganza. If you want to register, why do they want to register? Because that's how you qualify to win on Tuesdays. Yes. On Tuesdays, it's different. Yes. Now, Tuesday, speaking of that, November 23rd at yes. 12 noon central time, join Eric and I on a great show called Steals and Deal. Who is our special guest? Mark Down Mike. Mark Down Mike. He has a hard hat and everything. And with a name like that, you know this is going to be your chance to enjoy our super fun deal. All right, don't forget, here is our exclusive promo today. An extra 10% off your order, 37% off. The code is COZY10, C-O-Z-Y-1-0. And what happens if they order 350 or more? Oh, they're going to get a free go me lovingly placed in the box. I'm like, they're going to throw one into your order. Yes, and orders over five hundred dollars ship free to the contiguous U.S. All right, Emily, um, Morgan's out in the outside. Did she pick us a winner? All right, shall we announce our winner? All right, absolutely. Today's winner is Rhoda Wright of Bountiful, Utah. Congratulations! We're going to send you an oven mitt. Congratulations! We want you to show us your ugly oven mitts. All right, and next week on AQ Live, we're going to make a block from the new Gold Tangled Star Dye. What? I know, it's going to be great. Now, do you have a, I am, do you have a favorite of the two new? You know, I really like them both, but that's probably the favorite because it's just so unique. But you know what? That Rising Star is really versatile, and yes. I'm excited to, to play with that one, too. Yeah, and it's the Miss Skipney's favorite of it all. It is the Miss Skipney. It's all. All right. Hey, on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team, hey, it's so fun to say that Morgan is outside and so is Leslie in the warehouse, or in the warehouse, in the dream studio here. We have Brock and Justin and Joe and my good friend Emily, and we also have a special guest. And Erica is here on a Wednesday. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. We'll see you next week.